The honour is mine once again to address you as the parliamentary representative for Denry North. On the occasion of the holiday season, widely regarded by many as the most wonderful time of the year. Let us embrace each other with love and generosity of spirit during the holiday season. Let us do more to help those around us who cannot always fend for themselves. Allow the holiday season to renew our sense of community and love for each other. The past two and a half years have been extremely challenging for me as an opposition parliamentarian, trying to discharge my responsibilities to my constituency. The continued omission of the parliamentary rep in decision-making for key community initiatives such as the sale of Invest and Lucia lands in Belmont and the allocation of run-through farmlands to selected farmers, among other developments, can only serve to create tension and division amongst constituents. It is with tremendous difficulty and pain that I continue to watch the gains of previous years fade away in an environment that promises so much. Our resolve, patience and mettle continue to be tested in ways never previously imagined. But I remain eternally optimistic that our determination and resilience will see us through. We are the lion-hearted people of the Mabuya Valley. We will not cower. We will not be dismayed. In a year where much, much more was expected to happen in Denry North, we can take comfort in the fact that Phase 1 of the Denry North Water Redevelopment Project, funded by the Government of Mexico, was completed and that the residents of Grand Riviere, Richfort and Grand Ravin now enjoy clean drinking water. I have been reliably informed by the relevant authorities that work on Phase 2 of the water project being funded by the Caribbean Development Bank will begin in early January 2019. At the completion of Phase 2, Olion, Despin, La Ressource, La Pelle, Gadet, Belmont, and Denier Rivière will be receiving clean treated water for the first time in decades. I have worked extremely hard in the last seven years, doing all in my power as a community leader to ensure that the people of the valley consume clean treated water. I feel a personal sense of victory in that regard. Our success in the valley has always depended on how well we work together for the common good of our people and the continued development of our community. In the new year, I will continue to engage the various government departments and agencies with a view to addressing the problems of my constituency. The Larissus Health Center, which was destroyed by fire a few years ago, remains untouched despite my many pleas to the government. I will continue to hold discussions with health officials to try and get a cure for that situation at the soonest. The recommissioning of the Larissus Health Center remains priority number one. I intend to engage the Ministry of Infrastructure during the first week of January to remind them of the condition of the Lapel Road, which is in a very, very poor condition. The Caddy Belmont Road, the Austin Hill Road, the Richfond Ring Road, and Toafwe also need some rehabilitation. The Olion Road was resurfaced earlier this year, and for that, we are extremely grateful. I know that the last 12 months have been difficult for most, but I urge you to take a break from the stresses of everyday life and enjoy the company of loved ones during this holiday season. We must always, always continue subscribing to the ideals of the holiday season. Generosity and kindness, treasuring your loved ones, embracing your friends and accept, accepting others for who they are, irrespective of their circumstances in life. On behalf of my family, constituency group and staff, and also on my own personal behalf, I would like to extend season's greetings to all St. Lucians at home and abroad, and in particular, the wonderful people of Belmont, Despin, Grand Riviere, Richfort, Grand Ravine, Denny Riviere, Gadet, Larissus, Lapel, and Olio. And may God richly bless you and your family throughout 2019 and beyond. L'année 2018, c'était yon qui tenait difficulté pour nous en den renov. Mais nous content projet GLO qui a tapé fait en Tamazo. Phase 1 of projet ça, j'a tapé fait. 
Et puis, j'ai envoyé un vieux, j'ai envoyé un fond, et puis j'ai envoyé un vieux, car j'ai un bon globe pour boire, c'est tout ça. L'autre phase du projet, il y a dix mois, qui a commencé en janvier 2019. Le projet, ça a fini entièrement. Jean Denis Rivière, Belmont, Despin, Olion, Lapel, Gadet, et la Richesse, qui a tapé mon globe. Moi, j'ai travaillé au web pour sept années pour voir qui le projet a tapé fait. Et c'est pour raison ça là, je suis en la joie en chez moi pour voir côté qui nous a joué un bon globe. Le gouvernement et puis moi, qui ont essayé de travailler ensemble. Je suis au gouvernement pour voir qui a dans ces problèmes chimiques, les problèmes de la santé et les ressources, et l'autre problème de la constitution, c'est de un soulagement en l'année 9. Je vais prendre l'occasion pour remercier tout le monde qui a travaillé et moi, qui a supporté moi, tout le monde qui a pris des moi. Je vais vous remercier pour tout ce que vous avez joué. Et c'est des humains pour travailler pour l'année 9. Je vais vous dire joyeux Noël. Et puis la bonne année pour toutes ces lycéens, en particulier chaque constituant qui a donné une offre.